Comedian versus comedian. I see how the night's gonna go. <laughs> In a battle royale. You don't know me. You don't know me. A fight to see who is the most funny. And you, the audience, will help decide their fate. It's time for our audience play along. Audience, play along, kind of. I read Green Eggs and Cotton Balls. It's very good. Oh, don't spoil it. But is there more? No. Yes, there is. Don't trust the fishman. I told you, I'm an influencer. <laughs> Butt play? Since shit talking is uh, encouraged in this show, shut the hell up, stupid. Like a strip club. I want you to sprinkle my ashes all over the stage and just have the strippers roll in it. And just be like, she was a good lady. Red huh. indicator light on his tank. If you were to fuck a pizza, would it turn you off? Wise Kraken. Friday at 8 central at wisekraken.com. Uh, before we let you go, I, when we played this game where we had you say all these words, yes, uh, do you have any idea what we were getting at there? No. Okay, well, we'll send you a video after the show, and uh, we captured some key syllables from you tonight that we will repurpose. Oh, and, uh, no! <laughs> <laughs> so, we got you, and we appreciate your participation in that. Uh, Hi, my name is Werner Brand. Yes, my voice is my passport. Very funny. I'm the guy that sold 1,000 raccoon penis bones. I'm the guy that sold 1,000 raccoon penis bones. I put them in a plastic tube and I sold them to America in the USA. The guy that sold 1,000 raccoon penis bones. He's the guy that sold 1,000 raccoon penis bones. He put them in a plastic tube. He sold them to America in the USA. That sold 1,000 raccoon penis bones. I'm the guy that sold 1,000 raccoon penis bones. I put them in a plastic tube and I sold them to America in the USA. In the USA. Yeah. Hi, this is Stephen Tobolowsky, and I'm telling a, a remembrance I have from the Tobolowsky files. The question on the table was, what is one of your most significant moments as an actor? Well, actually, the moment I was thinking of today has nothing really to do with the moment that happened on stage or on screen. It happened in front of a hotel. I was shooting a TV movie in Sacramento, and I was waiting to get picked up to be taken to the set when suddenly a cab pulled up in front of the hotel and ran up. The man, the cabbie, was, looked like he was from Asia. He had a turban on his head and it was dark complected, big mustache. And he came running up to me and says, excuse me, excuse me, are you a jet pilot? I said, uh, no, no, not jet pilot. He ran past me, went inside the hotel. I'm still waiting for my ride to come. Meanwhile, a jet pilot comes out in his complete uniform, like with the American Airlines thing in a little travel bag, and he stands next to me, and he looks at me and says, excuse me, are you a cab driver? I said, no. I think he went inside. But I realized in that little haikuish type moment was the essence of being a character actor. Within one minute, I was mistaken for being both a cab driver and a jet pilot. That is acting.
Welcome to the abyss. Hi, Sasha. Hi. Uh, <clears throat> oh, dear. Is that what I look like? I'm singing in the rain. Just singing in the rain. What a glorious feeling. I'm happy again. Laughing at the clouds, so dark up above. The sun's in my heart, and I'm ready for love. Let the stormy clouds chase everyone from the place. Come on with the rain, I have a smile on my face. I'll walk down the lane. Happy refrain, just singing and dancing in the rain. Ba 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 ba, la da da, da da da, da ba ba da ba, ba ba ba, ba ba ba. I walk down the lane with a happy refrain, just singing and dancing. In the rain. We live in weird times. Very weird. It's hard to agree on anything. Except that we all need a little more inner peace. That's why I created my Zen Rocks. The mini meditation that's perfect for everyone. Right, Shaman Jay? No. Sounds like a yes to me. Whether you're stressed at a desk, stuck at home, or lost in the woods, my Zen Rocks provide you the break you need from your soul-crushing existence. Each set comes with our non-patented Zen guide to help you enter Zen. Hey, Warren, how's your Zen? It's Zentastic, baby! Working as Zen Tended, it's the ideal gift for your disgruntled father, your yogi mother, or your unemployed uncle. Whoever you are, we guarantee my Zen Rocks is right for you. Hey, Guru Nigel, are we enlightened? So enlightened. That's Zenertainment. So let my Zen rocks light up your Zen. Oh, and uh, this isn't a man bun. It's a Zen bun. It's different. This season, give the gift of inner peace. Head to myzenrocks.com and choose the package that ensures your entire family finds their Zen. Off to the next dimension, Zen Ho! <laughs> special lineup for you guys today it is packed with entertainment and we want you to have a good time uh, kid with the turkey hat on what's your name i'm grace howdy grace <laughs> thank you bars and we'll see you later uh as we do some improv later on in the show indeed we have executives versus team leads tonight we have the top six answers on the board i need you to buzz in and tell me things that taylor said I love Jace. Let's take a look. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> yeah, something that Taylor, uh, the, the numbers are what they are. The numbers are what That's they are. Good. It's on there. Let's get some votes going. 27 audience members voting right now. The audience is really going to tip this one. I cannot wait to see who wrote these. Amy against James. Oh, it looks like the audience gave it to James. Pushing him over the edge, James. You're going to be the first winner of this very first round. Hey, Internet, it's time for Wise Kraken with Nicole Freer, Laureen Siciliano, Summer Austin, Steve Gadlin, Richard Charles Anderson. And tonight's special guest, Stephen Tablowski. I'm the live director, Tim Stotts. And let's not forget, new Rockford visitor, Angie McMahon. All right, internet, time to play Wisecracking. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Wisecracking, your weekly virtual comedy game show, streaming live from McMahon Studios in the greatest city in the world, Chicago, Illinois. 
I'm your host, Angie McMahon, probably best known by my fans as Lady Cop 2. On our Facebook page, uh, our fan page, we asked our quipsters the question of the week, what is the worst, most annoying catchphrase? Your first audience challenge tonight is to jump into our chat and let us know what you think is the worst, most annoying catchphrase. Here's a few from the Facebook fan group uh, that our quipsters shared with us. Uh, Paul said, just saying, it's kind of terrible. Jerry said, no problem. And Mike said, wait for it. Terrible catchphrases. Tell us what you like, Quipsters, in the comments. What is a terrible catchphrase? Uh, tonight's show is sponsored by MyZenRocks.com. If you visit the website MyZenRocks.com and use the coupon code WISECRACK, you will get 10% off your purchase. Now, before I introduce our comedians who will be competing for your love, I'd like to first introduce you to our live director and announcer for this evening. We met for the first time in real life after working together for almost a year, but we did not fuck. Please welcome Mr. Tim Stotts, everyone. Hi, everybody. Spoiler, we actually did. Tim, I can't afford a divorce right now. So, no, we didn't. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to ask you the question that I asked the quipsters and uh, that I will be asking the comedians. What is the worst, most annoying catchphrase? Um, boy, I, I tell you, just saying has to be up there because it's like kind of like you can say any shitty thing you want. And then it's like mea culpa. Like, see, you have to forgive me now. But I, I think uh, to bring a new one, probably when somebody says, honestly, or if I'm being honest, it's like, oh, because all the other times that was just bullshit and manipulation. Now you're leveling with me. I feel very privileged right now. So hmm. fuck that's the honesty. Great. Fuck the honesty. Let's yeah, go down now. Honest, never say that. <laughs> All right, everybody. I want to welcome tonight's comedians competing for your love. She's so sweet. My stomach hurts. Then I vomit till I die. And now I'm dead. And I'm sorry for your loss. Please welcome Nicole Freer, everyone. That's so nice of you to say. Okay. Hi. <laughs> uh, after you hear stories about her dad, you wonder why she doesn't do more cocaine. Please welcome Summer Austin, everyone. Thank you for that lovely overshare. And All right. <laughs> talk about him. <laughs> All right. Never fuck with Sicilian when death is on the line, unless you're Loreen Siciliano. Uh, anything, Lorene? Are we good? What? Any thoughts to share after that introduction? You no, know, it was great. I mean, I'm Italian and not Sicilian, but whatever. Oh, now we're enemies. <laughs> uh, everyone tells him to buy a new shirt, but he refuses. Richard Charles Anderson. This is a brand new shirt. I just bought this shirt. A brand new shirt. How much did it cost? I found it. Okay. Uh, everybody's favorite raccoon penis bone. Please welcome Mr. Steve Gadlin, everyone. Hey, where's my top ramen? <laughs> that's, you know, that's my catchphrase. Where's my top ramen? Ugh. I like it. I'm so glad to have you all here with me tonight. I'm going to ask you what I asked Tim. That is what is the most annoying or useless catchphrase. Where's my top ramen? <laughs> Uh, I mean, I was waiting to see if anybody stole mine. Uh, it is, it is what it is. Oh, I hate uh, that. Oh, my mom like says it all the time. Awful. It is I think for me, it's people who say literally so often that it's actually their catchphrase because it just ends every sentence they have. Literally every sentence they have. See, see what I did? <laughs> I'm gonna vomit, Nicole. <laughs> Uh, my top ramen? <laughs> and a close second would be I'm the guy who sold a thousand raccoon penis. That's a chorus. That's not a slogan. Okay. I uh, would like to introduce our very special guest for this evening. He's an actor that played everything from Ned Wright, 
Ryerson in Groundhog's Day to Sandy Ryerson on Glee. He's a writer of the Tobolowski Files podcast and the Dangerous Animals Club and My Adventures with God for Simon & Schuster. Please welcome my new best friend, Stephen Tobolowski. Howdy. Yep, yeah, I'm very afraid at this point in time. No. I mean, we've been on, no, we've been on the air just a few minutes and we've already mentioned raccoon penises half a dozen times. <laughs> this is this is new territory for me. <laughs> Very exciting. Uh, I'm going to ask you the same question, Stephen. What's the worst or most annoying catchphrase? Well, for for years, it, it was always right on. And and when I went into a stereo store, people would look at me and I'd say, "Well, what about?" And they go, "Right on, man!" Like I'm some <laughs> hipster of some sort. But that has been usurped now by whatever. Oh. I. Hey, whatever. whatever, because that just means I never intended to talk to you in the first place. I was <laughs> talking to myself, and just by accident, you answered me. So whatever. <laughs> Hate it. There. Love it. Give it up for your comedians competing for your love this evening. <laughs> we are about to start this show, so sit back and relax, because this is Wisecracking, and here's how it all works. Our talented writers room wrote setups that they will show the comedians for the first time tonight. They will only have 90 seconds to write two punchlines. They'll be able to vote on their favorite punchlines, and so will you. The more people that vote, the more that it can swing the outcome, because a percentage of each round's votes determines a winner. We start the night with our qualifying round with all six comedians competing for your love. The bottom two will perform our intermission game, and the remaining four will move on to the finals. Then we'll crown a winner, and here's how you're going to vote. You're gonna grab a device and open up a web browser. Type in jackbox.tv, then enter tonight's room code, and you're all set. Tonight's room code is XZPF. It is scrolling down at the bottom of the screen, so you can log in at any time to swing that vote, audience. Uh, and then you're all set. There is a slight delay between the stream that you're seeing and the game, so make sure you keep an eye on that device so your vote can count. All right, announcer, that means take it away. It's time for Between the Cracks with Angie McMahon, the same person who's already hosting. <laughs> yeah, we don't swap out hosts in the middle of the, weirdly. Uh, the FDA has lifted the restrictions on the Johnson & Johnson vaccine that has given multiple women blood clots. Great news for the manufacturer of faulty vaginal mesh, less great for women. <laughs> <laughs> There was a study of women who smoke marijuana while pregnant. The study said that women put their babies at risk of being born and telling everybody it's so much healthier than vaping. <laughs> a German bomb squad called to investigate a suspected hand grenade in a forest determined that the object was actually a sex toy, which begs the question, if a sex toy is found in the forest, does it make you come? <laughs> <laughs> I like that Lorene liked that one. Uh, a friend delivered a seven foot steel penis to his buddy's house as a prank. Not to be outdone, the buddy sent 10 pounds of lube to his friends with a note, challenge accepted. Announcer, take it away. It's time for Comment Karma. We want to know what you think. Audience. Oh, hey. oh, sorry. oh that's nuts. Right, that's right. now. Live show. <laughs> what? The comedians are getting their prompts right now, and that means, audience, time for the comment karma. Tell us your age by naming something that was popular when you were a kid. So tell me your age or something that was popular when you were a kid. For me, that would be get in shape, girl. Does anyone remember this torturous thing that yeah. mothers bought their children? I remember the theme song. Yes. Get so in shape, girl. You got the feeling. Anyway, sorry, I ruined your joke. <laughs> no, no. This is much better, actually. Comedians, you have 25 seconds. Steve, keep singing to me about getting That's shaped. all I know. I remember that part. Jam. I run to my mom and I think I know the Jam and the Hologram song. It goes, Jam. Jam is exciting. Ooh, Jam. Jam is amazing. Passion and glitter. Passion and fire. Jam. Woo! Jam. That's a great. Thank you are truly, truly, truly outrageous, wow. Angie. Yeah, was outrageous. All right. Steven, did you get in? No, I, I don't have a prompt here. Oh, oh, sure. Oh, hang on then. We'll start again. Make sure that we 
Yeah, um, I had to refresh my my screen. No problem. I have more gem songs that we okay. can sing <laughs> in just a moment. And it was uh, fun. Tim, can you bring everybody up on screen while I sort this right quick? Waiting five five. Well, here we are. Hello. Hi. I had a tremendous answer that misspelled raccoon penis bones. So oh, awesome. You're this all gonna miss out on that. I wasn't crushingly disappointed with my answers just this time. So um, <laughs> my well, I, yeah. I will just say, guys, uh, it's a live show. Anything can happen. This stuff happens. That's right. Yeah. That the audience is looking for, I think, too. Yeah, the audience oh, right. a little screw up here and there. And yeah, you're just you know, it's at the top. So it's not so in so in the private chat right now, uh, comedians, I'm gonna give you your room code. Okay. So if you could please and we should say it out loud yeah and i'm not gonna <laughs> say everyone know no i'm not but i do have to change this little i'm gonna thing. try to become the vip yeah we'll see how that worked out kitty it's my kitty you're right What's this is sweet pea she's got a nubtail. tail she came that way all right let's see who <laughs> are waiting on here's the nub tail ready Show off your butt. Maureen uh, and Steven, you guys ready to log in? Uh, now, I, I have to log in again? Yes. yes. The, the game, the game, the game okay. got goofed. So okay. if you go to the private chat, we put the uh, the room code, the new room code in here. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So on on this other screen, this is this is what happens when you're dealing with the Luddite. So I'm over here on this <laughs> other screen. It says disconnected. Should I press OK? Yes. yes. Press OK. We're gonna, then we're starting. Then we're, now I'm going to put in a new room code. Yeah. This this is where the magic happens. Yeah. Yes. You got it's it. Really it. Got it's also not that easy. You know what I mean? It's kind of confusing. No, for sure. Okay. <laughs> here we go. Now I'm here and I'm pressing my my little thingy. Oh, oh that sounds dirty. No, I'm no. <laughs> Enough of the raccoon penises. Jesus. You know, <laughs> we we have so many raccoons in our backyard, and oh. we caught one. We caught one, and we moved caught him to Bel Air adjacent. We we kept, <laughs> we moved him to Bel Air adjacent, and I found out that one of my next door neighbors was the writer of Guardian of the Galaxy. Oh, wow. So I may have caught Rocket Raccoon. <laughs> was that before or after Steve deboned it? Take that. <laughs> That's right. Good question. Okay, now I got a prompt. Now I think like I'm getting a prompt of some sort. So, yes. yeah, the prompts yep. are just about to start. Uh, the comedians will have 90 seconds to write two punchlines. They should be getting their prompts right now. Uh, pull up that last audience play along, Tim. Let's see what we had. Uh, tell us your age by naming something that was popular when you were a kid. So, we got a few minutes here, audience. Jump back into my chat. Tell me something that was popular when you were a kid. Aquanet was popular when I was a kid. This is when I was a teenager. It was like, do you want to save the world for your grandkids or you want to have some banging hair right now? Ooh, TCBY, I love it. Uh, and it was like, that sounds like a, my grandkids problem, not a me problem. CNC Music Factory. Oh, nice. That's like, John, 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 yeah, John. That's John. it. Down, down, down. I totally traded two really good answers for two of the worst answers ever typed. Yeah, yeah. So, well, I don't know. I'm right there in uh, uh, contention with you, Steve. <laughs> thirty-five seconds, comedians. You have thirty-five seconds to finish your prompts. Uh, what else was popular when I was a kid? Uh, I think raping was more popular than it is wow. now. Who? I think it's what? pronounced rapping. Oh, I was pronouncing <laughs> rapping wrong. Rapping, rapping. You're ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> get in shape, girl. Ten seconds, comedians. You have ten seconds to get your to get your props in. Steven's mm. really regretting being here right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is this this is like that nightmare. Oh, no! <laughs> Yeah. No, 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 no. This is all great. This is all great. I, I'm doing great kind here. Of nightmare, right, Stephen? I've, I've got, I've got my little. Uh oh. <laughs> Ryan Ryerson. Ra I can't say the fucking name. Ryerson. Ryerson. What did Ned Ryerson from Groundhog's Day do on February third? He invented Twitter or sell the insurance practice and become a dancer. <laughs> oh, God. I know that one for sure. <laughs> What, 
what happened? I'm actually generally curious. Oh, I guess he should have invented oh, the no. search engine. Sorry, anyway. I can't vote. Yeah. I'm getting in there again. Okay. All right, let me know, Summer. I think that I'm was somewhere. Steve against Nicole, and it looks like oh, Nicole got the comedians oh. and the audience. Well, that's our first super quip lash. Steve, well. I voted for you. I swear, I don't think it's registering. Yeah, we should restart. <laughs> I kept forgetting blank, so I tattooed it on my body to help remind me to flush number two or where I pee. Theme. There is a theme. It's, it's from back tattoos. <laughs> Y'all ever seen Memento? It's crazy. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. We're all we're all like shocked from starting over the game. Summer versus Richard. The comedians gave it to Richard. The audience gave it to Summer. She's gonna eat out a win there because audience, you rock the vote. Because it may be the you. only one I get. Oh. A product that doesn't exist but should tornado proof clothing or banana juice. <laughs> Wait, banana <laughs> juice doesn't exist? Isn't it let, let like a slur smoothie? A slur a slur I a slur like the <laughs> slur banana juice. So that song from the Sleuthy also does not exist. Okay. I it should. <laughs> right? Copyright it. <laughs> Someone in the chat, make a smooth a sleuthy. Mm. Oh, that was Steven against Lorene. Oh, the comedians get oh. Oh, a quick laugh. Hey. Oh. No way. Oh. Wow. Hey, I want the tornado proof clothing. I, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how you're supposed to talk to strangers, whispery Walters who always whispers, or you churdy little duty head? <laughs> <laughs> was that the and you know it. <laughs> it was. It had to have been. It couldn't have been mine. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Look at him. Oh, wait, That's Richard. Oh, oh, oh. Give me to Richard. The audience gave it to Steve. The audience clearly. Just pity at this point. Just <laughs> pity. Life is awesome when you have blank. Wise crack into my right or testicles. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even Those enough with the things. technical references in your answers, please. Uh -huh. It's it's too much. <laughs> <laughs> I think I there's too, there's that. been too much penis talk this evening. Ladies, we need some of the kitty cats. <laughs> No. Okay. <laughs> Literally and <laughs> figuratively, because I was doing my best with the lettering. Uh, that was the glory. The audience gave Lorena a big win on that one. Audience, you want to get in the room? The big win. Fantastical sounds pretty awesome. Doing that. What are you apologizing for for now? Mada? <laughs> or my, I don't know. My reference to raccoon penis, but I can't stow. <laughs> What is happening right now? Yeah, right, no one can write in that. Everyone lost their That's raccoon peni. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. It's a foreign word, damn it. We are to be, I was trying to be technically correct. <laughs> and I didn't get the pee in to stop. Summer got the comedian's vote and she won the round. What? Oh, the man. That was amazing. I'm so losing. Good. It's losing. Dada. It was At Dada. Life. Let's see. The end of the first round of our qualifiers goes to Nicole Freer. Wow. Oh, Nicole is the one to beat. Coming to the to learn the word peni. <laughs> That's plural, That's man. That's over plural. Right. <laughs> We're going into round two of our qualifying rounds. Points are double. Okay. And the comedians still have 90 seconds to answer the punch lines to the setups they're seeing right now. Mr. Announcer, take it away. Comment karma. Tell us what you think. Audience, it's time for the comment karma. That means I want you to jump into my chat. What is the best thing you bought for $1? What is the best thing you bought for $1? And I think it was a penis. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, no. At, the, at certain dollar stores, you can get $1 dildos. They don't work very oh, well. No. You think I'm buying my dildos from a dollar store? Not the ones with Bluetooth, but you know, the old ones. Dare you. The old, the old ones. All right. That's my pussy joke to, to even everything out. Okay, guys? Yes, thank you. So what, is the best thing? <laughs> what is the best thing you bought for a dollar? 
audience, give my chat 25 seconds, comedians, to finish your punchlines. A hula hoop. Wow. Well, that's a pretty good deal, I think, for a hula hoop. It's I don't know. Story. I don't know if it is or isn't. I feel like they also could have got ripped off. A McChicken? <laughs> yeah. I try not to buy food for a dollar at a store if I can help it. If I can get like five seconds, food. comedians, five seconds, summer. Laser pointer, yes, Huck. Wow, Huck. There's okay. no such person as Huck Poe. That's that's a fake <laughs> name. Made up name. No, he's not real. I'm so dirty. I think I'll go to TJ Maxx and touch butts or masturbate the <laughs> landfill. Oh my God. We are disgusting wow. tonight. That's, yeah. that's, that's a that's a toss up there. That's a new low if you have to masturbate. Would, would you rather? Yeah. Container. Oh, <laughs> and some of the comedians gave it to Steve. The audience split it, but Steve is going to win that round. I knew where Laureen was voting. <laughs> <laughs> the face you're making right now looks like a person you killed and put over your face or <laughs> my asshole on a good day. Ah. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. Having a good I'm asshole tired. day. Uh-huh. <laughs> Do you see having a good asshole day? I'm having a great asshole day. Great. <laughs> that was Summer against Lorini. Oh, uh, wow. Audience gave it to Summer. Audience gave it to Lorini. Summer. Summer's going to take that round. All right. Maybe I'll actually see coming. Pop spot. Best way to get rid of an allergy, sticking Q-tips in your peni or oh. Drano. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh. Dark guy. My fake penis hurts. Neither are like suggested. That. We are not doctors, and we do not think you should do either of those things. Thank not you for that. I right. kill them from dollar stores. <laughs> if somebody is really not for advice, I feel so bad for them. Oh. Right? I know. <laughs> That was Richard against Steven. Oh, it looks like the comedians gave it to Steven. So did the audience. He's going to take Ooh. away the round on that wow. one. Wow. <laughs> you out. Yeah. Well, that swallowing Drano thing always works with the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alternate nicknames for life jackets. Float coats or waterproof titty oh. holders. <laughs> I like float coats. So do I. Let's well, all vote for that. It's got a nice sound to it. It does. Yeah, that was Steve against Lorene. Yeah. And it looks like the comedians gave it to Steve. The audience oh. gave it to Steve. Ah, oh. Lorene. That one, the audience swinging it her way. Fuck yeah. Don't put blank on the counter. Things you don't want to count or your peni. <laughs> 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 Everybody learns a, learns oh, a new God. word and they just go crazy with it. <laughs> I told you I was going to overuse true. it. I'm done. I'm done. It's true, but it's true. <laughs> right. I knew what a peni was. I just didn't know how to read it. Oh, what a sure. Yeah. Were. 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 Where? 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 Yeah, let's, plural. It's plural. Where? <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was Nicole against Richard. The comedian split it. The audience. Oh, we got I just Richard, haven't had enough peni jokes yet. Love the callbacks. Love the callbacks. Oh, I think my of my ex when I see him or a portrait of my early death. Wow. <laughs> Every time. Wow. Those are both. I feel like we should really do a little therapy before we. Yeah. <laughs> I, know. I know. Isn't that what yeah. this is? Yes. That was Nicole against Steven. The comedians gave it to Nicole. The no. audience oh. a big flash for Nicole Freer, the one that was out front. Is that well, him? Like, God, like, lose I got, like I got, I got, I got <laughs> scalped on that one. Well, <laughs> I thought people, I thought people would give me the pity vote, but I think I. <laughs> that was Nicole out front. Like, no, place. Steve is yeah. I'm the one to be going into this third and final round oh, of our boy. Need no pity, yeah. Mr. Steven. <laughs> if I could rig it, I would. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> this is our third and final round of the qualifiers. The comedians will have to write three punchlines to a single setup. They will have 90 seconds to do it. Hey, Bo, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, they're getting their prompts right now, and that means, announcer, please take us away. Once again, it's Comet Karma. We want to know what the internet has to think. 
Really? We do. Audience, it's time for the comment, Karma. I need you to jump into my chat. What game show would be better if the contestants were naked? What game show would be better if the contestants were naked? My answer is wisecracking. Maybe I we knew you were going to go there. <laughs> Maybe we'll make that happen tonight. We'll see. I think we should raise money for charity, and whoever donates the most money gets to decide who gets naked. But not me, though, because I host it. And I've had children. No one's to see me naked. Um, all right, comedians, you have 40 seconds left. Jump into my chat. What game show would be more fun if people were naked? What game shows are there? There's like Price is Right, Family Feud, right? Then you could know what family you want to marry into. Let's make a deal? Absolutely. They'd get rid of all the costumes, and then your costume is just like a hat, maybe? And then everyone <laughs> judges the hats. Like, oh, look at that guy's hat. That's how they judge wherever I come from. Look at that guy's hat. <laughs> all right, 10 seconds, comedians. Get your prompts in 10 seconds. I got it in. Woo, did it. Audience, you still want to vote? That uh, room code is at the bottom of the screen. This is the last round of the qualifiers. Do it. You can do it. Three things in your pocket. A TJ Maxx receipt, my pita scraps, or more pockets, or my pocket rocket, or a hot pocket, or a dental floss. Proud of me. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Well, I just met because I read it really nice. I know. I'm, I'm oh, saying great you. job. Is your uncle like Mediterranean? Or... <laughs> he always has leftover pita and he just sure. puts it in his pocket. <laughs> nice. Doesn't everyone's uncle do yeah. this? What? <laughs> yeah. That's a standard. All my uncles are dead. Oh, that hallelujah. The no. audience is green. The comedian, they split it down the middle. That's not going to get them very far. No. Last place. Three answers yeah. for what's love got to do with it. Love is love. Love is all you need. Or please don't leave me. Or sir, this is a Wendy's. Okay, <laughs> bye, grand, grand. Or how much? I don't want to vote for either of those. <laughs> an adult. You don't have to. You can abstain from voting, Steve. And so you announce it so you look like a real dick. That's the first obstination. That was Summer against Richard, and it looks like oh, the audience and the comedians gave it to Richard. That's going to be a big win for him on this one. No, no thanks to Steve. Three ways to escape from jail. Ask the prison guards nicely. Scoop your way out with a spork or write to Angie for help. Uh -oh. Or dress up like a reporter, dress up like a priest, or dress up like a corpse. Angie will get you out. She'll yeah. bust your ass out. I'm fully fucking vaccinated. Just point me in the direction. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mine's on Monday. Number two, I'm excited. <laughs> very, very uh, nice. Two. Congratulations. Shot, 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 shot. Everybody. <laughs> Yay. Let's all make Angie copyright infringed. <laughs> Down the middle, the audience gave that to Nicole. <gasps> that is going to be very tough to beat. Even though our very special no. guy, Stephen, was out front. I don't know. Right on his tail. Oh. And he just got a big win. Let's this see. my honor. Goes. Either way. Oh. Wow. And Nicole is out front. Who That's right. Big applause for Yay! Who can you love? I would like to thank the little people. I believe it was <laughs> I don't star. think that's No, I mean actually like the micro people who make the computers work. Like the ones who run in the little like the little uh, was playing so a good game too. It was uh, Gadlin and Summer that came in last. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm not the one who wrote the shitty punchlines, Gadlin. Uh, so uh, I am going to turn it over to our announcer to explain our intermission game. Hello. One last thing, uh, everyone else uh, that are not Steve and Summer, take a look to the private chat. We are going to have to log into a new room. Okay. Okay, though you may not have had the smarts to win Wisecracking, we you. still love your knowledge and we feel like you could impart some onto our viewers. 
So we're going to pre present you a segment we, of course, call Dear Wisecracking. Why do I always get this one? <laughs> I don't know. It's fake. Because you guess. keep failing. No, we think you're so good at it. We can't wait to hear you. <laughs> yeah, we sat you back here. Okay, so Nicole, you were the winner, correct? I was. <sighs> oh, don't glow too much. Uh, you get to pick who goes first. Oh, um, it, uh, Summer, since you're the old cat at this one, make sure you can get started oh. and see what it's like. Great. Let's do it. Okay, Sorry. Summer, the, the, the question for you uh, is huh? this. I'm having trouble figuring out how much insulin to give my wife. Any advice? Memento in Minneapolis. Boy, it seems like there's a theme here or something like that. <sighs> Um, uh, <laughs> why don't you just give her how much she tells you to give her? That's, that's what my advice would be. <laughs> like, like, the, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know why you're That didn't go so great in the movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you need to communicate with your wife. Like, you just need to, I mean, I, listen, from someone who's been in a bad marriage, okay? I would just say, like, if you're not talking, uh, it might not just, it just might not be working out for you. So, uh, you know, you need to care for her. You need to love her. Give her how much she's supposed to get. Okay, well, there you go. Medical advice, 100% uh, endorsed by Summer Austin. Okay, all right. I work in this school. There's a lot of drama, and I'm pretty sure that there is a 30-year-old in their glee club. Mm -hmm. Who do I tell? Because I'm pretty sure that the club sponsor is aware of this. I don't know. Just go to like the principal or something. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure he's not in cahoots with it? I mean, I, it seems like we could flesh that out a little bit. I don't know. Well, like, now we're in a conspiracy the theory. The now? I answered the I question. Know. On, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If that's what Steve's got to say, that's what Steve's got to say. All right. Uh, Summer. Uh, Are you kidding? Yeah. I'm having trouble standing up because of my enormous cock. I'm starting to get scoliosis. Long Dong in Los Angeles. Hi, Long Dong in Los Angeles. Um, I'm a looking for love. <laughs> <laughs> you call, that's all I'm saying, all right? And I'm, that's all I got to say on that subject. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. I got uh, something to say on that one. Do you, you don't get to though, Steve. <laughs> no, okay, no, Steve, go ahead. Long, long, long may have a large penis, but he has terribly low self-esteem. He doesn't even capitalize his full name. So maybe there are other issues you need I, to. I don't know. Oh, Steve, that's a good point. That's a deep dive in the psychoanalysis. Yeah. Uh, all right. But Steve, you're not the hook just yet. Uh wait, hold on. Uh I know this guy who is well into his thirties, but still lives with his parents. How do I tell him that he needs to lose those zeros and get with this hero? Bummed in Baltimore. I don't know. Just mind your own business. Family affairs are family affairs. I answered your question. <laughs> <laughs> All right. uh, okay, everybody. That was Dear Wisecracker. I hope you've come away wiser uh, for that. I think they're literally so much dumber. Yeah. yeah. I think. I think that we know that Summer is a girth girl. <laughs> I think that's. Maureen, you, you get me. <laughs> okay, I'm out on that. Thank you so much, Tim. Everyone, give a big round of applause for Tim and Summer and Steve. All righty, this is our finals audience. If you want to vote, take a look at the bottom of the scroll screen, and that is your new room code to log in and swing the vote. We are going to get things kicked off right now. Uh, first, I'd like to pitch it back to my announcer. It's time again for Between the Cracks. Don't read any innuendo into that. It just means monologue jokes. <laughs> All right, audience, it's time for Between the Cracks. Chicago's Lakeshore Drive is being renamed to Dusab Drive. It was better than their first choice, which was Wiener Circle Drive. <laughs> <laughs> New York was uh, New York was 89 people away from not losing a seat via the 2020 census. Cuomo is asking nursing homes to fudge the numbers again. A Girl Scout troop in Virginia is using drones to deliver Girl Scout cookies. Same, said the White House. Only ours are cookies. They're bombs. Oh, Joe God. Biden. Bombs, like these are landing right now. Biden is in office for 100 days and on earth for 10 billion. 
<laughs> now, audience, it's time for me to turn it over to our color commentators, Miss Summer Austin and Mr. Steve Gadlin. How are you feeling about how the show is going this evening? Who oh. do you have your money on? What are you looking out for? I mean, I hope our special guest wins. I mean, yeah. I do, too. I mean, when, when I'm considering, you know, the cash prize, I could use that now yeah. in the pandemic. There's no work. So so I could use it. Just don't tell everyone how much the cash prize is. We don't want well, I don't want everyone trying to get on this damn show. You know, oh. this, right. You know, I got a channel here now. <laughs> <laughs> You heard it here first. Steven Tomalowski's my best friend. It's on the internet. It's legally binding. Yay! Right. Yep. Legally <laughs> binding. Hmm. All right. Comedians, you have 10 seconds. Oh, everybody get in. We're about to start off. I'm in the audience, so I'm in the yes. Summer and Steve can blog into the audience and swing the vote. I'm there, man. man. We're there. Careful with that blank. I'm saving it for later. Rattles head <laughs> or aunt. Those are both pretty funny. <laughs> not as funny as if Summer and Steve were still in. No, of course not. <laughs> Great point. zingers here. Yeah, we like, sure do. What would Summer and Steve had said to that? I don't know about farts and butts or something. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Richard. The audience gave that to Steven and the comedians did. Our special guest comes out real strong right away. <laughs> I never thought this would happen, but thank you for giving me the Blink Award, Cat Lady, or least amount of awards. <laughs> award. Then they have to take it away. You need to have to give it a whole lot. It sounds like the award I got a lot as a kid. <laughs> you know, like, she tried, she showed up. Participate. Right. That was Nicole against Lorene. The audience and the comedians gave that to Nicole. Well, there's a cash prize now. Yes. MyZenRocks.com. <laughs> <laughs> you will get 10% off your purchase if you go to MyZenRocks.com. Use the coupon code WISECRACK. You actually get $2 off. That's the cash prize. You either get the fucking rocks or you get the coupon code. All right. My, <laughs> most people are upset when I can't stop laughing about my thumbs or Hershey squirts. God, I really, really worked on that bit, didn't I? <laughs> My thumbs is the best answer ever. Steven, it's pretty solid. Lorene, the audience split it. Steven got the comedian's vote and won that. Wow. Love Someone's it. crushing it. I'm calling your coworker. Steven Tobolowski is wrong. Then fire me. Or <laughs> uh, calling your coworker on a burner phone after committing a felony is wrong. Then fire me. <laughs> I think everybody should be called Steven Tobolowski. You too. I'm changing my name tomorrow. Yeah, it works. I don't like that name. <laughs> it works. <laughs> <laughs> everybody. That's Nicole. Comedian split it. Oh, the audience overwhelmingly gave that to Nicole. Oh, yeah. That's a good yeah. one. Nobody likes yeah. your pandering, Richard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just well, it doesn't work. Uh, All right. That is the end of our first round of these finals of Wisecracking. It looks like Nicole Freer is out front. Well, for now. Mm -hmm. We're going into round two. Oh, we're going around for the next Twice a double. Moment. It's still anybody's game. Yeah. Except for me and Steve's. <laughs> That's correct. Because you lost. Oh, damn it. But we still so, don't know how to vote. The comedians will have 90 seconds to write their punchlines. They're getting their setups right now. And I'm going to turn it back over to our color commentators. What are you thinking about how the night's going? Who's your money on now? I'm thinking so well. I just He's think that win. I won twice last week and now this. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's all Steven. I think Nicole can get away with her cutesy little answers in round one. But in round two, you, you got to cut to the quick. And yeah, I don't know if right. you've got what it takes. So you just have to write about the songs that you've written to get the points. Is that what we are? <laughs> uh -huh. Are you comedy coaching Steven Tobolowski? No, he's No, I said he's got it. He's going to oh. win. I said, Nic Nicole's the one. Who can't. You were like, no. you do it. You I'm taking the it Steven Tobolowski master class. My goodness. Yeah. No. <laughs> uh 30 seconds, comedians. You have 30 seconds. I love how, how deep in concentration everyone is right now. Except for Richard. You're just like, you just, you're done. Oh, I just keep writing uh, raccoon peni over and over. 
Did you buy a lot of my Zed Rocks rocks? Because you seem so chill. Yeah. My yeah I got my rocks. They, uh, sent, they Did you say I rocks. said my rocks? <laughs> what? Wow. I never got back on that label at the bottom. <laughs> All right. We are starting this second round of the finals yeah. of Water Kraken. My relationship can be summarized easily with the contents of a cat's stomach or a pen. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. I don't know why. I Both are true. Both are true. Let's see. Yeah, but this isn't a documentary, Richard. <laughs> Even against Nicole. Oh, I mean, go for that that one. To Nicole, she's going to have a big win. She was out front in the last round. Whoa. Right. You proved okay. me wrong because I voted for her. Good job, Nicole. <laughs> I'm a convert. Only idiots order raccoon penis bones or the actual menu. How many did you sell, Steve? Do you sell any? Oh, I got shut down. I was oh, on my way to a thousand and then the the order the corn. <laughs> you could so have I have them all. I have a box of them in my office if you want one. The committee is split down the middle. The audience gave that to Lorene, so she is going to win. That's it was right. the appropriate time for a callback. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I yeah. studied comedy. <laughs> I probably have more friends if only I were popular or cared about people. Hmm. I still think maybe things. we should have some therapy, guys. I don't There's know. There's a story behind both of those answers. What's the story? I mean, I seeing podcast. I'm just seeing that was Steven against Lorene. Yes. The comedians and the audience gave that to Lorene just by hair, though. Hmm. Someday, I just can't get blank out of my head, Peni, or that song by Kyle, Kylie Minogue. Yeah. Wait, what was it? We're going to see I here. Think I think someone said it was the perfect time for a callback. No, I don't think so. I don't think this was the time. Someone just said that. You just <laughs> said that. You just finished time. saying, oh, that was the time. Yeah. Oh, no, Richard, oh. Richard oh. the callback was raccoon penis bones. But you okay. can't. Oh, wrong callback. Answer yeah, wrong callback. You know, you can't control oh, so Steve. Time. Steve, so. I, I really would like you to mail me a raccoon penis bone. No, you that was perfect against Nicole, Please. and Nicole got a big win <laughs> by Kylie Manole. Everyone started hearing peni. <laughs> <laughs> I say you dance with who brung you. And, and, you know, we're here with the, the peni. We began with the peni. We end with the peni. Wow. Yes. Oh, that is out front right now. After oh. the fact, it does make sense. Anything down. Is our third and final round of these finals of Wise Kraken. The committee will have 90 seconds to write three punchlines to a single setup. They're going to be getting their prompts in just a moment. Gotta love the peni jokes. Thank you, Bo. Um, yeah. And I'm gonna turn it back over to our color commentators. How are we feeling going into these finals? Well, I do, I have sympathy for Richard because he couldn't control when his answer was put into, you know what I mean? So it just, Thank it wasn't you. the time for you, Richard, but it, it's out of your hands. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. No, Steve? it was a bad answer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel sorry. He wrote his ticket. <laughs> <laughs> He's responsible for his own, the, his own. He should be sitting where I'm sitting right now. That's, yeah. that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Right. On a bunch of raccoon penis. Oh. I got here on peen eye. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Really is everyone's origin story, really, when you think about it. It was mine, yeah. I started from a peen eye. <laughs> yes, yeah, Steve, yeah. because No, the because it's a plural I... word. So you can't, <laughs> there's just things, a peen eye. <laughs> you don't know my history, Steve. Don't fucking get into my That's trauma true. right You're now. Right. I don't know your history. I apologize. <laughs> Committees, you have 20 seconds left to get your prompts in. 20 seconds. Oh, this just isn't, this is so long. It's like the longest wait. All the typing. Are we still talking about peni? I'm sorry, I just got no. <laughs> <laughs> Audience, it is your last chance to swing this vote. The room code is at the bottom of the screen. You want to get in there? Five seconds. Two seconds. Lorraine and Steven. Ah! Did you oh, get in? No. Yeah, that's going to set you three. back. Oh. Three things that make you stabby. Getting a peni answer wrong. <laughs> Bad guys because fuck them. Or Steve Wadlin. Or what is stabby? A trip to Galveston or clip toes when you're drunk. 
<laughs> That's why I was so slow is because my computer wouldn't type the letter K. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I was thinking maybe my answer was too long for this program. So I was trying to cut clipping down to clip. And that's why I was so slow. I was trying to hone the perfect. But you got the answer in. You, you got it in. in. I know why you were saying oh, oh, so zero. But a fat lot of good it did me. I thought <laughs> I, I have no idea what stabby means. All is that, that some, stress for nothing. Is that some sort of hepcat modern term? Yes. Yeah. Go like, figure. Oh, oh whatever. <laughs> Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> That's right, you heard from mom, my weekly orgy, because my low self-esteem from when she made out with me. What? Oh, gosh. My yeah. emotions, the pet bird when it died, or her car keys on field trip day. Who oh. heard about making out with her mom? Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> that was Lorene against Nicole. Nicole got the comedian's vote. Lorene got the audience vote. Nicole is yeah. going to win that round just by a hair. I know oh, who okay. likes demented shit. <laughs> I have a story. I, I hid my mom's keys when I was a little kid in like second grade because she was going to be a chaperone and I wasn't wanting her to be. So um, looks like Nicole Freer is our winner for this week. The wise cracking. Thank you. Oh, there it is. It's not me who wins, not me. <sighs> Um, so Nicole, yes. uh, you as the winner get to choose someone to read the writer's credits in a voice or accent or character of your choosing. Sure. Um, I choose the illustrious Stephen Tobolowsky, uh, and I choose a voice that you don't use every day. Maybe a character that you've been wanting to try out. Wow. Oh, oh. God. Oh. <laughs> oh, be free with it. Okay. Written by Boran Ma, Huck Po, <laughs> Steve Rivas, Steve Gibson, Anthony Barbario, Hugh <laughs> Kelly, Char Richard Charles Anderson, Bradley Klein, Marianne Cat, Charisse Foster, Drew Anderson, <laughs> Kurt Simitititis, Simititis, Tim Stotts, Trevor Glassman, Lee Brophy, Matthew Seagar, Jim Taylor, and the graphic vi video by Tim Stoltz. <laughs> Yay! Thank you so much. Of course, we would not be able to do this show if it wasn't for our wonderful live director and announcer. Please, everyone, give a round of applause for Mr. Tim Stoltz. Although I felt like Stephen was trying to take my job because he, he announced even better than I could. Be great. Yeah. Yeah. Good announcing, Someone, man. Good oh, you're hired, Tim. Stephen, you're hired. Well, after my stabbing joke, I, I feel like the only place for me now is to be an MC. Uh -huh. <laughs> there you go. I got to move on. I, MCs I'll are the this body background. You, you want the MC background? You can have it, Stephen. I'll, <laughs> I'll email it to you. I'll mail it to you right now. So Make email it to him. Happy. <laughs> Uh, right before, after uh, this word from our sponsors, we will get to the Quipsters question of the week from our Facebook fan page. But tonight's show is sponsored by MyZenRocks.com. If you go to MyZenRocks.com and put in the coupon code WISECRACK, you will get 10% off your purchase. 10%? That's right. Wow. That's Chicago tax. Yes. <laughs> um, all right. We did ask in our uh, Facebook fan page. The Quipster question of the day, what is the worst, most annoying catchphrase? And we heard from you, Quipsters, and said, all righty then, or whatever. Oh, yeah. Another yeah. whatever fan. Mm -hmm. yeah. It Chris is a hollow, said, horrible thing to say. Chris said, quoting as if he was evangelicals, you'll see when you die. Oh. Mm. I feel like I don't hear that enough. I, I I have not heard that in my life until I've never now. Heard that. Oh, you got to get well, you'll when you die. evangelical friends. They I say have. that all well, the time. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Is risen. Hey, said don't hang out with the kind of evangelicals. Is. Yeah. It is what it is. Yes, Jeff. It's yeah, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, John said, you heard? You heard? <laughs> I like that. And, uh, you know what I mean? After you just uh, describe something. Oh, uh, you know? ah, yeah. You know, 
With Dan, no, that that's what she said. No, that one's Ooh, a good one. That's what who said? No, that's no, no, no. What's no, that no, one no. about? Um, where's no. my top ramen? <laughs> <laughs> All the time. Finally, right? we am have. Am I right or am I right? 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 Ladies, you know. You know. All right. Uh, wonderful quipsters. We adore, 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 and love you. So, um, Tim. Is there any questions in the chat for us right now? I think we have it covered. There are no further questions. <laughs> Not even oh, right. for special guests. Oh, wow. Wow. Uh, uh, Christians, do you want to get into that chat and ask a question? While we're doing our plugs, we still will answer. Uh, who's got plugs this week? Yeah, Steve. Uh, this week on Talking Funny, we talked to Mr. Will Shorts, crossword puzzle editor at the New York Times and frequent Ooh. NPR contributor. We're going highbrow with fart jokes and dick jokes. It'll be a good time. <laughs> Talkingfunny.com. Very nice. Who else has plugs? I have Carol, Carol's doing Mother's Day videos. Go to comedylaureen.com and you can send your mother a very special Valentine's Day video that's slightly inappropriate and it's sexual. But for Mother's Day. <laughs> oh. Very nice. Uh, Summer, you have plugs? Yeah, I'm going to be doing um, Flappers Comedy Club virtual show Thursday, May 6th at 7 o'clock p.m. Yeah, that I is your time, right? 7 p.m.? Oh, 7 p.m. Pacific time? Yes, okay. that is correct. You can go to my Instagram to find out more. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Anybody else got plugs? Plug, plug, plug. I got a plug. I got two plugs. You got uh, plugs, too. I got a flapper show tomorrow. I got my first flapper show. It's also Yay. my first show. That's not this one. So I'm wow. gonna have to, like, I don't know if my act's gonna translate, but we're gonna see. Uh, if you go to flappers.com, it's a 5 p.m. Pacific show, 7 p.m. Central in Chicago. Um, it's gonna be real interactive. So if no one's there, it's gonna be awkward, but it might also be awkward. I'll be uh, there. Have, two choices, <laughs> awkward or awkward. Awkward. Uh, and then, our second plug is on May 14th. It is Wisecracken's one year anniversary Woo! and our 50th Woo! show. And our very special guest is Andy Kindler from Bob's Burgers. And everybody loves Raymond. We're Woo! so excited to have Andy here. Um, so mark your calendars because it's going to be a big day for us. All right. That's all my plugs. Tim, do we have anything? Stephen, did you want to talk about your podcast? Oh, yeah. Well, you can. Uh Always the Tobolowski Files podcast is there. Uh, we have 99 episodes. And just go to tobolowskifiles.com. And most of them are funny and some of them are not. But they're all true stories, true stories uh, from my life, uh, getting held hostage at gunpoint and my broken neck and opening on Broadway and different things of amusing and entertaining <clears throat> quality. Nice. Amazing. Uh, we should also give a big round of applause to our special guest, Stephen Tobolowsky. For Yay! Yeah. Tim, are we dried up in the chat then? Our chat is clear. All right, everyone. That's it for us. Subscribe and like wherever you are. Maybe drop a review if you had a good time. We will see you next week on Friday, Quipsters.